The battle of the five armies is about to begin as we have a glorious 4v3 here in Dawnless Day's Total War. And I am super excited for this one. I'm, yeah, we already had a battle of the five armies recently, but who knew we would get a second one so quickly? I did not know either. But we have Violent Yard Patrol is already battling away, it looks like, with some, um, some I think, some goblin archers. Yeah, some goblin heavy archers here. And again, absolutely focused down on both sides here. Um, yeah, as they both try and win their arch duel. A very key fight to try and win here in Dale, that is for sure. You can see, yeah, Dale's violent patrol is already, yeah, getting a pretty badly banged up. They have got more uh, yeoman up on the walls over here as well, and more yard patrols. So they are, you know, they're ready to uh, to try and defend this sort of patch here. And I mean, I'm surprised we haven't seen, like, the high chief teams guards go in and just send them in at this point. They're already pretty banged up. Send them in against the shipment, potentially. Do they have jabbies of their own? So... Enemy yeah, it's going to be tough. To uh, I mean, uh, you're expending a lot of ammo as well on archers, which is obviously good for the forces of evil in that sense. Um, I don't know if they have trolls on this side. They have a lot more shock, uh, I guess, to go in. So that's obviously a big threat. But yes, this is a, a 4v3. There is three uh, armies on either side. So we've got, um, yeah, like some orcs of the north, I think these are. Like this is a weird hybrid of Gundabad and Dol Guldur. I think it's just orcs of the north. Uh, over on here, then over this side we do have Dolgaldor, and then I think we have, um, do we just have another Orcs of the North? I don't know, we might do. Uh, no, we just have two Dolgaldors there, okay, interesting. Um, and then we have over here, we do have, I guess the rest of the army of the Orcs of the North, this is, um, yeah, or it's just another army there, I can't even tell, tell you to be honest, it might be a 4v4, uh, I honestly cannot remember, but it is very odd, in, it's, it's 4v3 sort of. Um, in the sense that um, the reinforcing army here of Thorin Oakenshire, which has been represented by Balin, uh, is here and they've got all gold shell and has got like, yeah, a very small army here. So this is, yeah, Manchester Claims, Erymithrin Veterans and Dwarven Barrack Guard. So yeah, uh, they have like got, that's like uh, Thorin and his company being represented there. That's a very, the small army they have. They also have an artillery piece, uh, which I guess is to represent the Twirly Whirlies that the, uh, the dwarves have uh, and they use against the, the elves. We have obviously the wood, uh, wooden uh, realm, and we also do have the iron hills. So yeah, we're using last breath, um, war of the mountains, and also um, warriors of Ardor, I think are all being used. Um, the archer fight already going on over here as well, and the forces of evil look like they're losing this one pretty badly. Uh, Merkin trackers already getting focused down, and yeah, just destroyed um, left, right, and center. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more Dawnless Days on the channel, more glorious battles like this one, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. This channel, we do all sorts of Lord of the Rings uh, content and generally Total War stuff. So yeah, if you're new around here and you enjoy that sort of thing, definitely want to stick around for more glorious videos. And our theory is, yeah, pick it off Goldor Blades. I mean, not a bad thing to target. You might want to target uh, the Glaives though back there. Um, as well, to be honest, There's, the gold uh, blades are pretty dangerous, though. Um, as I've now learned, they, they are able to sort of like take on quite a lot of different infantry units, and they're going ham over here as well, fighting the spear militia. No surprise there. In the last sort of like um, battle of the five armies battle we did, uh, the daily and defense is definitely well and truly overpowered. This one, I'm already sensing, might be better balanced. But daily is one of the hardest settlements to attack it really is you might think pope what are you on about it's like literally destroyed but it is really hard there's some really tough streets that you've got to try and um get around i mean right now as well dale's got some nice setups uh, for flanking shots he's already blasting these glaives here doing as much damage to them as possible but yeah these winding streets um and narrow yeah, choke points make it pretty easy for like even a week so like spear militia to hold for a little while i mean it looks like they've got a lot of shipmen uh, in this one, we've also got axes here. Lake Town Axe Bearers. Okay, very cool. Enemy units uh, yeah, you've got a lot of other Lake Town Axe Bearers, Lake Town Guards. These, I guess, would be like the sort of like the the units you would have uh, if you were fleeing from, um, yeah, from like uh, from Lake Town. We've got some Gate Wardens as well, so there are a few Elves in the settlement. And uh, we do have Bard or King Brand is representing Bard um, in this one. And uh, yeah, it looks like Mocha Track is pretty much have been uh, kicked out. They've used a lot of their ammo, though, have the Lords of Las Garland uh, in dealing with them. There are crossbows still left that the dwarves are not used, and that's good because there's Olokai back here uh, that uh, are very much too dark to really tell what's going on, but the Olokai are here as well. And, uh, yeah, they're ready to go. They're going to just try and mash up a few lines. But, yes, 
In a moment, I imagine the infantry assault will begin. It looks like it's going to be lots of Goldor Glaives. We've got some Wraiths as well, Goldor Glaives. It's just a lot of just sort of like tier 3 sort of units, tier 2. Um, we've got a few uh, elites back here, some tier 4 champions of Dugaldor, champion blades as well, Goldor Pikes, um, and yeah, a Nazgul general as well. So yeah, we will see. But the battle is really getting underway in Dale itself, so we'll go back there. And yeah, these spear militia, they're just meant to hold for a little while. They're not exactly meant to uh, pull off any miracles. And they're certainly not here today. It'll be interesting to see how many kills they've got at the end of the day. But I don't think it'll be many. And um, they kind of have broken through here as a force of people. If they had another unit ready, they could sneak around and they could go up and deal with these archers up here and kind of make this whole defensive line that uh, Dale's holding pretty um, ineffective. If they had another unit ready, I mean, now the glaives are free, but they're not really. They need to get more healthy units up there. This blade getting up there would really be of use. But they're going to need more, actually, reinforcements in the front line because the blades are uh, breaking as well. Again, same sort of result here. We've got um, militia. They've been defeated. And it looks like we've got goblin high chieftain's guards and also gold oak glaives going in there. So that's a really nasty duo. And the shipment, again, they're dealing with these evil menaces with their javis javing away trying to do as much damage as they can they've used all those up which is good they've still got yeah yeoman with a lot of ammo here yeah lots of shipmen with uh javis to be used as well they need to make sure they use supply barrels this one way out there which is a little bit too far away i don't know if there's any closer to home oh there is there's one right over here that dwarves have put up that's the wrong spot that's for sure they've got a lot of artillery for some reason uh which I don't think they'll be able to use. They should have had supply barrels, is what they needed. And we've got a cav charge going on here. Northman scouts, it's like they're dealing with uh, some archers, by the looks of it, just making sure these guys stay gone. There you go, yeah, Northman scouts getting rid of all these archers, making sure they stay broken once and for all. And the same here, Thrandall going out and doing the same thing as well. And now we've got phantoms chasing. I'm surprised the uh, servants of the eye did not continue that chase. They would have definitely defeated those uh, Northman scouts. And there you go. That's a very good move there by the uh, by the defenders, we'll call them. And they are, uh, you know, dealing with that threat. But yes, if you want to send any of your own Dawn of Stays uh, replays in to have them covered on the channel, uh, then do feel free to join. My Discord link is Enemy down below in the description. The and if you want to just get involved in any sort of battles or streams yourself, if you're just struggling to find Dawn of Stays games, that's a great place as well to go get involved in some Lord of the Rings action. And yes, it seems as though that the uh, Dolgador war machine is just continues on. Shipmen are losing here. I mean, they're getting some support uh, out of the shipmen. Uh, they're shooting these Goldor Glaives up a little bit, but yeah, not masses. Kind of is proving that Goldor Blades, you know, aren't too bad. I have had a, I must have had a, like a, a buff at some point, because these guys did not used to be good. This is now being be a lot better. Yeah, there you go. The glaive's going back in. Shipman doing their best. Holding the line. More being sent in. They've got Javis ready as well, so they might Javi over the top of that uh, combat. We'll see. They might wait until the very last minute. I know they're going to get their jabbies out now. They're going to start throwing. I don't know how effective that really is. I think always like a side jabby is, is more effective than trying to throw over the top of it in uh, an ongoing combat. Because I think a lot of those are missing. They're all like firing off and landing over here. A lot of them. Where they could angle the uh, unit so it's like looking down the street. Because that's where most of the unit is. Kind of push back the enemy here, though, have the uh, Dalian defenders. Lake Town Guard Axe Bear is going in there. Tier 2. For the shipmen. And I imagine these are... They, I was going to say they're surely heavy axe infantry. They are. Uh, they are kind of running out of reserves, though, are the attackers here. Uh, we've got mountain trolls that can go in. They're going to surely use some ammo for them. They've got violent yard patrols. I think moving forward to shoot at those trolls. The mountain trolls aren't nearly as dangerous as their more armoured counterpart. And I think we've got um, Goblin Bodyguards in here as well. Yeah, we've got some really elite shock infantry going in. Interesting, interesting. We'll just keep 
for nine. See, I just wanted to see, uh, mention goblins, whether these guys had actually moved in, but they haven't. I think these are mostly all goblins, and we've got some Tomb Raiders and, yeah, some other nasty stuff there. So, yeah, I'm guessing it must be, it must be a yeah, 4v4, sorry. I, for some reason, was thinking it was a 4v3, but maybe I got that into my head as a 4v3 because of, um, like, the just, like, Dorin's, like, tiny little company, which is probably the case. Um... Bounce power, yeah, 6,000 uh, 6, against 10,000. Look at that. <laughs> they found a chink in the line. There is a chink in the line here. Uh, they basically ended their wall of infantry there, and then they've just got a little flank, uh, which I guess is fine. There's uh, Warriors of Erdmithran and Forest Sentinels that could deal with this. Wraiths, uh, we've got mainly going over there, and Glaives. Yeah, look at that. The entire, like, Dogledor, uh, like, force is really pushing on this uh, front, take, taking advantage of the gap in the line. Don't blame them. But it's quite funny that they just didn't have like one more unit just to put into line, which they did actually. They have another Iron Hill Warrior that just chose not to. Maybe it was just for a gap, a tactical reason, a gap in the line for the dwarves to charge with their Warriors of Erdmith from here. These aren't like as good as the um, as the Erdmith from veterans, but they're still pretty solid. Horror Sentinels as well. The shock infantry of the Wood Elves. They find wraiths, which are an undead unit. So they will fight to, well, the last wraith. They'll fight. They have unlimited morale. They don't break. Uh, but they're not that great. Uh, they're medium infantry. I used. I remember the day they used to be tier three heavy shock. Uh, sorry, uh, heavy melee. And they, yeah, they were. They were a menace. Uh, there's two on one, though, which is why the forest animals are losing. We're going to see a charge thing from Thranduil to try and maybe hold back the uh, the Dogledore push here. We're going to see a charge into into, uh, yeah, the race. I love Randall's, like, bodyguard's armor. It really looks great. Uh, they are getting descended upon by more and more Golder Blades, so we're going to need more reinforcements of this. Sons of the Hill, and also looks like we're going to see the, the Giant Blister crew going in. A very key asset uh, that's being sent in. Great position over here by the uh, Iron Hill um, crossbows being set up ready. But this long line, I don't think the uh, Orcs will attack this. There's no way they can win that on, in a one-on-one -on -one basis. I don't think. Which is pretty much what it's going to be. They're attacking the weak point, which I don't blame them. This is where I attack as well. And if they're going to leave an open uh, point in the line, absolutely. I think Brandwell is... I see he gets to take a casualty. I was going to say he's getting overwhelmed, but not really. His bodyguard's doing just fine. They might start to drop soon, though, if they, especially if they try to pull out. He is a melee cab at the end of the day, so he should be absolutely fine in here. We'll see, yeah, more gold or, uh, blades flanking on around. They are going for that encirclement on Thrandall. They want him dead. Thrandall sees the threat and he's trying to get out of there. He's careful, this is where he's going to start to lose riders. Yeah, it's a bit of a pull through. They're both kind of still on the move as they both try and get out. I don't know what to really call that. But we'll allow it. We'll allow it. Golder Blades, yeah, they're losing. Decisively, I don't know if that's from them pulling uh, like through or whether that's they're trying to just get in behind. I don't know. Anyway, Forest Sentinels and Sons of the Hill, they were losing. We're going to see even more shock images being set over here. This is becoming, yeah, a real problem, actually, is this flank. A lot of the infantry that's been in here is not winning at all. Warriors of Erdmithran, they're going to need to send them more up there. We've got Pikes, uh, Iron Hill Pikemen. I'd send them maybe back there. And I'd also send forward this Iron Hill Sword that's been left in reserve. Um, but whether, like, the breakthrough is supposed to happen here, so then maybe Thorin's uh, reinforcements can do their bit. I don't know. I do not know. Um, but yeah, it looks like Dale's going to have dealt with uh, this force pretty much straight away. But I have a feeling this is the other force that is uh, supposed to be threatening uh, Dale as well. I think they're going to come in. And yeah, we've got a lot more like Goblin Mercenaries, or Red Citadel Guard General. They're all on the move now. Gundabad Blades going in as well. These guys are supposedly really strong. Uh, I don't know how like uh, powerful they are, but yeah, they are pretty damn nasty. Um, and then Tomb Raiders here, we've got a lot of stuff now going in. I think they're going to come in from and attack Dale from the other side and just smash in there. And I imagine also we'll probably uh, try and flank the Dwarven uh, position as well. But they already look like they're in a pretty bad situation, uh, in my opinion. The Lake Town Axe Bearers, they're in the front lines. Cutting down these boys.
Yeah, they're just going to keep on chugging away in there. I'm going to go back to the uh, the, the land fight, or well, the the, uh, the non-street fight, we'll call it. Uh, because this is, is looking really bad right now. I mean, yeah, Thranduil is back in the fight. He's lost about 10 riders now. He's fighting a general. He's fighting a Nazgul. And he's losing that fight. Uh, maybe because he's just slightly weaker, I'd say. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe stats-wise, Thranduil uh, isn't so good. But I would have thought maybe since you're going to get one of them, he must be better than the Sons of the Eye, really. Uh, they have kind of just pulled out a combat here, though, the uh, Sons of the Eye. I don't know if they just hammer and hand build or whether they pulled through. But yeah, they took a lot of damage there onto the, uh, from the... Or is very missing. They're going into after archers. Archers with ammo left. They're trying to cut those uh, those boys down. Could really do with Thorin's company being activated, but I don't think it can be yet. Brandel's still fighting away. He could do with just a single opportunity to help him out, and he would be fine. You see Thrandall there. His golden locks. I mean, there's, yeah, there's, there's quite a few gold or blade units here that have just been freed up. They could go in and help, uh, it's like, kill off Thranduil. Thranduil be, uh, being killed, though, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Like, the Wooden Realm doesn't really, you know, uh, have an issue when it comes to morale. I also really don't know where the rest of the Wooden Realm army is. I don't know how, if it's, it is that big. Oh, there's last Golden Blades over here. Yeah, this is, okay, this is all Wooden Realm here on that part of the line. Interesting. Yeah, Thranduil is not going to be getting out of there alive. He is almost certainly going to die on the battlefield. That is a shame. It looks like it's gonna. We're gonna see Legolas inherit the throne of the Wooden Realm. If you're doing a very movie appropriate uh, battle of the five armies, you would have, you could have Legolas here as well. We're doing a very much clearly a book appropriate uh, battle of the five armies, which is probably for the best. And we don't have Thorin. And there you go, that is Thranduil dead. He has fallen to the Nazgul, he will become a wraith. And now, and now the uh, Thorin like reinforcement army is also being uh, committed. Balin with his Durin's guard, gold chevron. This Balin guard is insanely uh, strong. Manchu claimers with gold chevrons as well. Uh, we've got Eremith from veterans, gold chevrons. And yeah, Dorvan Barrett guard, gold chevrons. These are all like Erebor units. Uh, to represent the small Erebor contingent, I guess, uh, of the, uh, the company of Thorin. There's definitely more than 13 of them. And there you go. They haven't actually gone for Dale as this force here. They have gone fully for the dwarves and for the elves. Interesting. I mean, this is, definitely works. It uh, looks like um, we're seeing a bit of a maneuvering going on here. It looks like the last Garland Blades maybe are stretching out. We're going to see... Uh, or are they going to retreat to Dale? It looks like they are going to maybe retreat. The elves having lost their general and their king. Are falling back to Dale to regroup, and I think, yeah, they're all going. Are the uh, Iron Hills going to be abandoned out here in the field? They might be. Those traitorous elves abandoning the cause, fleeing the safer grounds. I mean, to be fair, the dwarves should do the same if they're going to do that. Sons of the Hill fighting on in here. This is Dane himself. Dane's in this fight now as well. Oh my gosh. We're going to see Dane and Thranduil die in sort of the same sector. It looks like they might. Olok High going in now. We need some uh, Dwarven crossbows over here to deal with these guys. Uh, and they're not moving. They are staying on the, over on that front. That is concerning. They're going in again. Looks like Eremith from Veterans. This could be quite tough. I don't know. Maybe Gold Chevron Shock and Shoot's a way to stop trolls. But I have a feeling that these uh, Shock and Shoot's are going to get splattered. Cavs also in here as well. That's just side charging these uh, Aerith and veterans. Poor dwarves. Yeah, they're losing. No surprise there. Uh, Mantra claimers though are absolutely hammering through their opposition. Champions of Dogledore. Some really tough, tough shock infantry. Not even an issue for these gold chevron boys. Balin's guard over here as well. I mean, oh, Durin's guard. Is but he's also taking uh, like Balin's guard, I guess. They haven't lost a man yet or a dwarf. Very impressive. The dwarves are being engaged slowly further down the line. Khan and River Guard engage as well here. These guys kind of remind me of like Spartans a bit with their red sort of uh, skirts. And are we actually going to see 
I don't know. Oh, no, they are running. I think the elves are going to lose their archers. I think they've just been caught. Sadly. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. I don't know what the, uh, the forces are good at doing, really, here. They need to uh, sort of, you know, recognize the threat behind them. Uh, Iron Hill Pikes. Well, maybe unless they can't attack. Maybe they can't attack the dwarves. We'll see. Maybe they... I don't imagine they can, though. Yeah, it looks like Red Citadel Guards are moving in that direction. These pikes need to turn around and deal with them. Uh, along with that sword unit there. They, they, these are free. Use them up. Same with the crossbows. They start firing at the, uh, the orcs. Yeah, it looks like the elves are all fleeing back to, uh, to Dale. Though we are going to put up a pretty horrible defense here. We've got all guardians uh, defending the bridge. But I don't think they'll stay here. I wouldn't stay here. You get shot at by the archers from across the river. Just put a Lasgar and Blade there. That's a pretty horrible defense to try and hold. I'll let's try and break through, sorry. Uh, and over here, yeah, looks like... I think Dale's going to win that fight, to be honest. Iron Trolls... Uh, being defeated, the archers, yeah, just blast them down. Spears doing their bit. Last Garland spears as well. So it's some decent stuff. And we've got more forest animals going. There's more elves than I thought in this fight, or like in this defense. So I think Dale and the elves are going to hold here. I mean, that fresh shocking as you're going in, that's certainly going to, you know, give them some energy. Uh, we have got a general in the fight here now. We've got Goblin King in here. We've got more Forest Sentinels coming down. And Gate Wardens. Yeah, I mean, they've got some solid units in here. Gate Wardens already in the fight as well. Uh, I presume Bran's still alive. Yeah, or like or Bard is still alive. And they've still got, you know, a decent polearm defense at the very, very top as well of this uh, defense. Yeah, I think, and with the Elves arriving with more, Dale's going to hold, that's for sure. It's the... Um, it's the sort of the land fight that is looking pretty dicey. You can see Golden Blade just going around the flanks here. Don't know what this uh, player is doing here. Just kind of like seems like he's being yeah, he's being AFK. Oh my gosh, Iron Hill Pikes just getting shot down. Is he seriously being AFK now? Look at this here. The, the crossbow is being attacked. My gosh, that's sad. Crossbows, yeah, just going to be killed by such pitiful goblin mercenaries. That's key ammo as well being wasted uh, by being just chopped down. I mean, they are just charging head on as well into uh, some of these units. That's fine. The Iron Guards will deal with these. I mean, I was going to say, this Pike and, like, Iron Hill Warrior combo is going to be really nasty. They'll hold here for a while. Yeah, I don't know what the uh, the Dwarven player is doing, just letting his units just be killed off. I, I really don't know. Whether the Iron Hill player has kind of given up already. If he has, that's a bit pitiful. I mean, Dane's gone. I don't know if he's dead. No, I don't think he is. Dane is long gone, though. We didn't get any notification about him dying. Balin also is not looking good over here. So, yeah, Thorin's company being smacked about by trolls. And yeah, Goldor Glaives. They're going to help support and take out uh, Balin's during guard there. Mantra Claim is fighting another general here, Kamul. Kamul's bodyguard is just far too dark and you cannot see it. And they are like, literally like, it's just dark figures. And you're like, oh, that must be Kamul. Kamul and his bodyguard there. Uh, I was going to say, the Nazgul here could just hammer an anvil of Mansion Claimers, deal with them. Uh, these units over here, yeah, just being, just being uh, mopped up pretty easily. Small rear guard here of Iron Hill Warriors. Fighting the blades of Gundabad. Hold the line against these Gundabad scum. I mean, numbers wise, it's 3,200 against 7,000. Gonna take a lot. Gonna take a bit of a miracle to win this one. I mean, these dwarves as well, if they were actually, you know, actually be up, uh, fighting a little bit more, they could probably uh, bring that number down quite a bit. I mean, they're doing well over here, but as soon as they get surrounded, they're gonna be in real trouble. And they might, they won't master out, I don't think, but. 
They're not going to get so many kills, that's for sure. The Iron Guard's now being surrounded. Enemy general's dead, that's huge. I think that might be the one, yeah, fighting in Dale. Goblin King is gone. Fighting against the elves. They have no general as well, gotta remember that. Brand is, I think, the only general left. I don't know if Thorin's gone, but he's soon to be gone. That's for sure. We'll go actually back and check on him. Uh, Thorin, yeah, he's still in there. I think Bar like, there you go. As I say it, he dies. There you go. So yeah, Thorin Ogreshield has fallen. Or Balin has fallen, representing Thorin. And that's the arable force dealt with. That was a little too easy, I feel like, uh, almost to just dealing with them. They, yeah, did a very good job. It still seems like there's a lot of orcs left. I mean, 3,000 and 6,000 is a two on one odds. In Dale, you can take those odds potentially, but you need ammo. You need archer ammo desperately. Dwarves here, the Iron Hills are being slowly defeated out here, bit by bit. They can't retreat to Erebor though, like they did in the movie. Enemy forces have destroyed an entire unit. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. This, yeah, that that fight continues. I mean, the pikes are, yeah, slowly being defeated. They're now uh, being hit in the back. But they are doing a lot of damage to these other units here in the front, which is great. Yeah, the Iron Hills really just did not put up a good enough defense. I mean, it's good to see the Wooden Realm has uh, fallen back. Maybe that's why they fell back is because the Wooden Realm, because the Iron Hill player went AFK. They knew they just couldn't get him out of there. He wasn't going to be able to extract himself, so he just, you know, saved his own elven lives. Probably for the best. But look at that. Dale is cleansed of evil for this now. Shameful display. And I imagine they're going. Yeah, they're coming across the uh, the bridge here. They're now going to assault this side. Uh, there are towers still operational over on this side. And the uh, settlement damage is minus five morale. Actually, I hadn't taken that into consideration. But yeah, so yeah, morale-wise, they are a little bit down. Our uh, the defenders because they have be, had their city pretty banged up. Might be something that the uh, attacks want to take advantage of. Alberts of uh, Gundabad moving across got also got the wards of uh, Gundabad here. Oh, slowly getting ready. They're going to get uh, sent in very, very soon. Yeah, this is the Gundabad faction actually here. Um, so, yeah, it's just out and out. No Dolgaldor mixed in. And I imagine they're going to attack very soon. They have to have actually batter that gate down as well. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a faff. I'll probably just say, I think Shock Infantry is probably your best bet for trying to destroy it. I might be wrong though. The Dwarves, the Iron Hills, keep fighting. Their King might be gone. They do not care. I mean, technically, it'd be like Thorin Stonehelm would be the ki uh, would be the new king now. I don't know if he's born. Well, probably, I don't know if he is. But after Dane dies in uh, the Battle of uh, Dale, the Thorin Stonehelm fight. He uh, takes the throne. Erebor in the Iron Hills. Getting slowly surrounded and just slowly, one by one, these dwarves have been picked off and killed. Sad to see, it really is. And still not really fighting over here. We do we find a little bit more there? Uh, the Iron Guard are still fighting as well. They look like they're a bit stretched out, actually. Look at this Iron Guard here, just taking about ten different orcs. What a mad lad. What an absolute mad lad. 
What have they decided to do? Oh, they got an axe infantry up here. They found one that isn't a uh, shock to actually do the damage. I mean, they're running away because of the oil. Enemy units have been I was say, just don't worry about it, really. Just these orc creepers. Their lives don't matter. Orc lives don't matter. You need to start getting ready for your assault. Time is running out. I imagine it's a 60 minute clock. And, yeah, if the, uh, if the time runs out, the defenders win. The attackers are against the time, really. They need to kill off these uh, orcs at uh, these doors quickly. Good about orcs, like, tower of the doors. They really do. Absolutely massive. Like, they are, like... A dwarf is pretty much the same size as a goblin. Looking at the scale of these units. Good about orcs are like literally the size of men. There you go. I think the swords are broken. The pikes will follow. And this sword might follow as well. And the iron guards are uh, they're at 65. But they might master out uh, army losses. And sort of like morale debuffs taking place. No general. Might be enough to get rid of them as well. We'll see. And it's still destroy that gate, you know, over there. 99% damage. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. The gates have been destroyed there you the go. 100% damage, and now those orcs can start to storm on in. And their reward is going to be to face, looks like, a whole bunch of Wooden Realm. Uh, Last Garland Blades here, and Gate Wardens. We've also got over on this side here, Lake Town. Um, Axe Bearers and Lake Town Guards. Yeah, they've got some good units ready to uh, to go in. I mean, they could, I guess, flank all the way around, go back to the other side. That might take too long. And oh, there you go. Look at that. Vineland Yard, uh, Vineyard, Vineland uh, Patrollers. They're going to be able to resupply. Erebor has a supply barrel. They can resupply. And there you go. Erebor's uh, done them a favor. So that is going to be huge. They're going to need the ammo because there's still trolls out there. Oh, look, I still have eight out of eight. They've still got, yeah, they've got themselves a, yeah, two silver chevrons. The gates Incredible. The enemy advances. And there's also like pole arms and other things they might want to, and pikes they might want to take out. And there you go. We've got the, uh, the gates been captured. And now the orcs are getting ready to storm on in. And, uh, yeah, the next sort of a phase of the attack is about to, uh, begin. As the Mountain Orc Reavers is going to be the first going. I mean, that is, I guess, one consolation for the uh, defenders is that there are a lot of uh, troops here which are pretty trash, like the Orc Reavers. I mean, there's 600 uh, pretty much Orcs here, uh, Orc Reavers, and they are trash. So that will help bring down the figures and kill all those off. Um, and then we also got, yeah, Goblin Mercenaries. They're not that great. Um, but yeah, there's, there isn't a lot else after that, to be fair. They have got rid of most of the trash, but there are, there are some units that are pretty rubbish. Dogledor, I mean, they're just marching through the fire. Mad, what are you doing, guys? Do madness. They could have taken out an Azkul general when he was fighting Thranduil. That would have been great because that would have really helped with morale. I'm not sure how much of his army's left. That really could have helped out the situation. They might have helped the dwarves even win this fight. No general. Well, that might have made all the difference. You never know. Dwarves fight on here. Still haven't broken. These iron guards have literally 30 men left, and yeah, I mean, okay, now they finally start to waver. They might take those uh, gold or glaives with them. They've actually stabilized. Um, yeah, they, no general, no army, uh, morale debuffs, uh, but they still hold on, and they could route two units here. Absolute machines, those guys. But the fight has begun over here. Two raiders going in first, setting in the elites. And they are absolutely peppering this last garland blade and the whole guardian, uh, whole guardian, yeah, for the defense. It's a very, very tough fight. I think that is, yeah, that is the uh, dwarves of the uh, Iron Hills gone. It's now just down to men and elves. Dwarves have failed us. The archer fight coming on these whole guardians is immense. As they want to try and desperately take these guys out. Yeah, two 
Roma Raiders in the game focused down. Focused down themselves, I think. They're losing. Uh, maybe to the pole arms, I'm not really sure. They, obviously, they are the main target. I think they're falling back. They don't really need to have them in there at the moment. I think save them for a later date. Uh, that's for sure. And we've got the same situation over on this side here as well. We've got uh, Axe Infantry and a pole arm in here. Can't really easy see that fight, but we've got Mountain Orc Reavers down here. I like the officer. I don't know if you can easily see him, the officer here for the Lake Town Guard. His golden shield. Well, I don't know if he's the, oh, actually it's the officer. Maybe not. I guess they all have axes, don't they? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the officer has a, a sword and set. I really don't know. I mean, these guys have literally survived dragon fire. Uh, fought one army, now have to fight a second army. I've had a rough couple of days with these late town guardsmen. I hope that they get a bonus at the end of this. I mean, they probably will get a share in the wealth of Erebor. They certainly deserve it. And there you go. They are kind of, you know, they are. I think they've absolutely, definitely routed the, yeah, there you go. Routed those Reavers. Absolute trash they are. What are we going in here? We've got a Forest Central to try and support. Yeah, the last Garland Blades on their own actually can't deal with these Tomb Warders. Uh, tomb, not Tomb Warders. Uh, tomb Raiders. There you go, with that little offensive from the Shock Infantry of the Wooden Realm, they've actually pushed back the Raiders here, and they've turned that fight in favor of them. And they're rewarded with some Gold Oak Glaives going in. Looks like also more Mountain Orc uh, Reavers getting ready to go in. A tiny little shipment's charged down, as well as a tiny little Axe Bearer. Don't know why, maybe just to be a pest. Really don't know why they bothered. Yeah, this Elven line's pretty thin. They're going to need some more boys to go in. I mean, they've got plenty of options. Yeah, lots of Gate Wardens, got Last Garland Blades. They've got quite a lot. Bit of that precious ammo is being used up uh, by the Vineland, uh, Vineland uh, patrollers. What are they shooting into? I think they're shooting the trolls. They shoot Kamul. He's also an option. I feel like the crossbows were the way to counter those Olokai, and they get wasted. They just got they just stood there and did nothing. The elves are starting to fall back. Those sentinels are defeated. The blades hold on for now, but they're getting sworn by a heck of a lot of orcs that want their flesh. Trolls are going in and they are already getting focused down. That is huge. Trolls are already down to half strength. They just they got sent up. Interestingly, they got sent up to go and try and break through that fight there. I think they're a little early to try and send them in. And they have actually sent forces round. They are attacking from the other side. Good. They need to. They need to stretch the uh, defenders as much as possible. We've got Gold of uh, Glaives fighting over here against the Wooden Realm. Again, the Wooden Realm having similar situations as they did earlier. They can't defeat the Glaives. Oh, these aren't even glaives, the champions of Dogledore. Even better. Um, but yeah, they could do with maybe shooting those guys up a bit. Archers have been caught out trying to resupply. Look at that yeoman. They're in all sorts of trouble. Uh, can try and get them onto the wall, maybe. Uh, actually, I don't know if they can get onto any of these. Uh, they might be running onto that one. Yeah, I think they're going to get caught out in a moment. Yeah, they're going to get surrounded here. Oh, ripped to them. Yeah, they've got shocking if you find out it's more wooden realm forest sentinels.
They are doing their best. I mean, they are stretched at the Wooden Realm. I'm surprised they were fighting out even this far with this shock infantry. I would probably turtle up a little bit more. Spears here. Slowly getting chipped down. I think obviously it's a good counter to uh, it's the shock infantry against the Spears. But the Spears, yeah, I mean, oh, there's a blade in there as well, but the Spears are breaking. No surprise there. And the trolls down to three out of eight. I think they might have stopped firing at them. You know, prices averted. These guys now are a lot weaker. You can probably defeat them in melee with pretty much anything. Especially one of these uh, horrible choke points. Elves putting their immortal lives on the line here. For a cause not of their own. Even the trolls coming back in. They're still getting shot at though. I think they're still getting shot at. Uh, it's not, not looking so great over here. I think the yeoman might have broken, uh, I imagine. Yeah, I think so. I don't know why these champion blades are going up here, but they are. Yeah, the yeoman got murdered here. It'll rip in pieces to them. After they resupplied as well, which is why they were so important. They got a resupply off. There you go. And there you go. Goldberg Glaives have been defeated with the uh, Lord's Last Guard and the uh, Shock Infantry doing a job. They need to get back up the hill now, uh, I'd say. Because otherwise, if you continue on, you're going to get charged here yeah, by Goldberg Glaives. The Lord's Last Guard is a good hybrid unit. It can fight in melee pretty effectively. None of it is getting charged here by Goldberg Glaives. go the forest sentinels to try to help out might be a little too late though I think these uh, Lord's Last Guard no, actually they're winning winning decisively apparently I don't think that is the case though I think they might be losing really especially now they've been flanked by blades the unit has perished. yeah there you go uh, Lord's Last Guard fighting on there still Gate One's going to come down and try and bail these guys out the fighting continues. Yeah, I mean, geez, yeah, they got Wooden Realm having fallen back like most of his force from outside the city as well. Has really, you know, got quite a few reserves there. Still got, you know, a few archers uh, with ammo. The violent patrols aren't really going to do a lot, but, you know, help with bodies potentially. Got the halberds in here that I guess going to try and, you know, be as a, much a pain as possible. Looks like everything else is getting routed that was in here. Or falling back. Halberds don't seem like they're making a decisive bit of difference at the moment. All these units are still combat even. I mean, the halberds just keep poking away, slowly jabbing away. They continue their push on there. And actually, they're losing in that other fight against the uh, Las Garland Blades. So that's a big positive there for the forces of good if you're rooting for them. Got a general trying to break through here. This is uh, a tiny little Las Garland Blade unit holding on. In goes even more Las Garland Blades. This general now has to fight against yeah, a healthy unit. Prolonged melee, I don't know. They are melee cap themselves. They'll start to take lots of infantry against Cav. Probably will be an infantry win. Oh, I don't know. He's not lost a man yet. Turns to the eye when dismounted as well. Very good uh, infantry units. I'm surprised he didn't maybe dismount them. 
captains have pretty much just been used as infantry. The Lords of Asgard, they're still fighting on. Slowly getting separated from the main force. This is looking like the most tenuous position, I think, for the elves, in my opinion. I like how they fought all of the... I mean, actually, these elves might have wanked around from down there. I was going to say, they, the orcs have attacked on this front, but they haven't gone all the way round. But they haven't gone all the way up here and then round, which is what they should probably do with some forces if they can, because um, there's not a lot they can uh, hold them back. And might be why the elves have tried to block this choke point for now. I mean, the orcs have 3,500 left. 1400 elves and men, mainly elves. There you go, the gate warden has given up. They're done here. They, I made me realize that it's just quite a tenuous position to try and hold. Whether they just see that these guys are starting to route. They're going to try and reform their position here. It's a much safer choke point hold. They're in sheer wall, and that's going to make it pretty damn tough to break through. Oh, no, he's countercharged. He's countercharged because the pikes fell back. I think he's trying to catch them out of formation. He might have done it. I'm not sure. We'll see in a moment if those pikes start to break. Back over on these other fronts. Let's have a look. Yeah, the Halberds are losing here. They are not doing great, but the Elves are running out of reserves. The uh, Lascar and Blades in there are about to break. Uh, and I think they've fallen back everything else to the edge yeah, of the top of the choke points. We've got another Lascar and Blade there. Hall Guardians and Gate Wardens. So they are going to hold the Enemy very, very top of Dale now the for the final uh, few minutes by the looks of it. We're also going to see uh, Lake Town Guard axes also fall back. I mean, I fall back just everything you can, really. I mean, if you can send... Yeah, it looks like they're sending uh, archers to try and get their, uh, their pole arms and other stuff back, potentially, here. And it looks like, yeah, the gate wardens couldn't get back either, which is a great shame. Yeah, Lake Town Guard's still alive. Yeah, this is going to be a tough old uh, defense to try and break through for the orcs. I think they are just looking... I think the defenders are looking at time and thinking, there's enough time that we can hold here. Uh, and then draw out a victory. And it doesn't really matter now if you try and flank around because they've got this uh, final defense tighten, tighter than Fort Knox really is. Yeah, they're through. They defeat that last guy on blade and they're now marching up here and they're getting ready to assault that final defense, which is going to be Gate Wardens and Lake Town Guards. That's the first line. That's a very tough opposition, really. It's Officer of Dale. He's like, come on, men. We will hold! We must hold uh, what is our new home. The elves here are ready. They've seen thousands of years. Many of them probably seen so several wars before. Now they're getting ready. They might not have, I don't know. I feel like since the Wood Elves kind of got massacred in the uh, Battle of Dagaland, maybe these guys are all seeing like, their first battle. Because, you know, the Wooden Realm hasn't done much much since then. How Thrandall's dad dies. That silly charge of the Battle of Daglan. In go the Tomb Raiders and Gundabad Warlords. These guys not being even given a chance to rest up. Time is of the essence. They must go in. Look at that. The Orcs pushing them back. In go the Vineland uh, uh, patrols as well. I think that's what their name is. Yeah, patrols. I was, I'm for some reason having a struggling with their name today. Uh, over here, looks like the uh, Lasgarden Blades are going to uh, slowly die. Nazgul only lost like a couple of right, like ten or so riders, and he's been in prolonged melee for a long, long time. They're broken through here as well against the archers and the Olokai. There's still one Olokai left, so credit to him for staying alive.
controls. I don't know really what they're doing. I just keep them in the in the in this sort of like stack here. They don't need to be going fighting on their own. Fight side by side with these whole arms. There's a lot of swords in there now, but I mean, they've got to try and break through a pole arm. It's going to be tough. I need to send their own pole arms in to try and, you know, uh, give themselves a chance of break breaking through there. And here go the uh, Gulder Blades. Uh, again, a lot of not being given a chance to rest. Just going to go straight on in. Looks like I think the Nazgul has dismounted now. So yeah. It serves the eye, becoming one of the best sword units around. But I don't know if that's going to necessarily mean that they can just break through a uh, whole arm defense like this. One immense stand here by Dale. The Lake Town Core. See the Nazgul, he's in there, he's right at the front line. With his hood. The archer fire coming in, that's going to be so key. And they're trying to shoot Brand, and I don't blame them. I think that's perfectly in their rights. Brand's been into uh, some action already. And also, like, is, I mean, I guess you can shoot the pole arm, you can shoot the uh, hall guardian. Brand, if you kill Brand, you're going to break the morale of these guys here. And yeah, they know what they're doing, do uh, both sets of players. Like, the defenders know that if they win, uh, they can win if they just stand here. And the defenders need to find, uh, sorry, the attack team to find any way they can. Uh, to win now, and that might be shooting Brand down. But you can see they keep moving him backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, as they're trying to do, uh, dodge archer volleys. And I think they've actually, I think they've given up trying to shoot him now. They are trying to shoot the pole arms. Those wall guardians in uh, in reserve. I mean, really, you can just move the pole uh, the pole arms over to this side. I don't think this side has actually has any ammo. That would be the uh, easiest way to get around that. Gate Warden still fighting down here. Absolute champs. Absolute champs. Keep that up, boys. Just keep being a pain down there. Kill as many orcs as you can. Fighting goes on. Pole arms on both sides doing a decent job at the moment. There are now pole arms in here for good and bad, but they are losing. It's always a good sign. Again on this side here, pole arms are uh, holding the good and bad horde at bay. They did a good job so far. These Lake Town Axe Bears aren't too bad. I quite like them as a, like having a, a Lake Town uh, Guard unit that's not the pole arm unit. I remember back in the day when they used to be shock infantry with the Lake Town Guard. But it, made, it made Dale a bit too well-rounded, so they changed it. There you go, that charge from the last Garland Blades there. Helps route two units, a pole arm and also a sword. That is a great result there for the defenders. Numbers wise, 800 against 2,600. It's not looking great. I don't know how much that is swayed by the Olg High being in here. Uh, it probably is a little bit. The Gate Wardens down there have been defeated, uh, ripping a uh, piece to them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that Olg High just being still alive might swing it. Way in favor of the force of evil balance power. I can tell you one thing 
You can stack up all these guys for all you like, but it's not really achieving a lot. You probably want to just, you know, really just keep some of these guys in. But you, all you're doing is just tiring these units out, and they're not really actually contributing at all to the fight. You better just to... I, I could understand you're like, oh, crap, we need to break through. But, like, just by doing this, you're not actually... Like, these guys at the back aren't actually doing anything. They're not actually contributing at all to the fight. Uh, you're just better having them at the bot, like, in these streets, just getting ready to just uh, rest them up and then send them in when they're ready. Because that's one of the ways that you'll be able to take advantage as an attacker. I mean, I think in this sense, I think with three minutes left, I think the defenders might have it. Um, but yeah, if it was closer than like this and you have plenty of time left, um, or like even if it's like at these odds and you have plenty of time left, you just stick units down here and rest them up. And he is now, I think he is, and maybe you're thinking about doing that. Maybe he's been told. Um, you, you're resting your men. And the enemy can't rest his men because you're constantly sending in reinforcements. And that is one of the ways that you can start to, you know, defeat your enemy. It's just with uh, exhaustion. Men, yeah, defenders get tired. And then they start to, you know, they start to make mistakes. They start to drop. Not quite literally like the, uh, like the uh, model makes a mistake. But like they, that's, I think what they're trying to like incorporate is like you, you get tired, you're slower. You, don't move, you can't block or attack as quickly. Uh, and you probably like you're vulnerable to making a mistake, and that's kind of what's represented in Total War. Yeah, these late down units at the moment they seem they're only winded. Uh, the uh, axe bearers are very tired. Uh, some, there's an exhausted unit in there. Uh, they're a mix of winded, tired, exhausted. I think pole arms are always uh, you know pretty bang like you know either very tired or exhausted when they're in pole arm formation. I think it's one of their things. Yeah, these guys are exhausted. They've been stood in phalanx formation for so long. Gate Wardens, they're back in here. Last Garland Blades still pushing on. We've got Bowman now in this fight here for the Orcs. Good to bad bows. I mean, they're heavy bows, so they're not bad. But yeah, this side's looking a little light, uh, light on infantry, that's for sure. The other side's where all the reserves are. And they're trying to get their troll forward. Uh, I think the ammo's been saved for said troll. Lakedown Guard, they just refuse to give in, and I love it. These Lakedown Guard Axe Bearers, MVPs of the game, doing a great job. They always had a great game, generally. I mean, they, they did their job. They held the line uh, in this city, uh, and they've also held the line here. I mean, the uh, Elves did their bit, uh, losing Thran a little bit of a shame. Iron Hill's obviously the biggest disappointment. Thorin, whether he should have bothered to even go in over here, that's the real question. Maybe he should have just gone down the line, gone uh, headed towards Dale himself. Um, but yeah, it's certainly the Iron Hill's not really doing anything. Just um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. I think uh, this whole army kind of flanking behind and uh, and attacking the uh, Iron Hills is also a bit of a um, a bit of a shame because that just doesn't really allow like the it just kind of meant that this force over here just attacked when the uh, reinforcements arrived. I don't think that should have been allowed. I think they, these guys shouldn't have been activated until um, like the front line had. Uh, Attacked over here as well for uh, like the Iron Hills and also the uh, and Dogledore. They should have been like, oh, five minutes after they've engaged, you can uh, send forces. And then maybe even then only sent a half and then sent a half immediately to Dale to try and assist over here. Um, I think that might have been a little bit more interesting. I don't know. It's hard to say. Just since the Iron Hills kind of just kind of like they set up their line, which in fairness was just like a front, like a, a solid pike line. Uh, and it just kind of got outflanked. But there you go, a draw. We kind of expected that to be coming. That's why I started uh, nattering. I'll end the replay. I'll have a quick look at the end results. Uh, this was sent in uh, from the perspective of um, Itchy Right Nuts. There's Jackaboy, uh, I believe. Um, or it might just be, I can't remember. Or maybe it is Itchy. There is an actual Itchy as well. Um, 
so yeah, thank you very much, man, for sending this one in. Uh, 248 kills with uh, Barlin's Durengard here. Uh, 251 kills with his Reclaimers. 78, uh, 76 kills with the Veterans here. Uh, the uh, Dwarven Barrack Guard, 295 kills. And his Ballista, 183 kills. Then we have Anonymous playing as the Wooden Realm. 102 kills with Thranderal before he fell. 261 kills with the Lazgal and Blaze. 263. Uh, Sentinel's getting 297 kills. 252 kills. Gate Wardens, 403 kills. And then his Archers, 265 kills. His Lords of Las Garland, 246 kills. 352 kills. And we have uh, Polish Ball playing as uh, Dale. Uh, 147 kills with Brand. 299 kills with the Shipman. 173 uh, kills with another one here. His uh, Lake Town Axe Pairs, 242 kills. Uh, 132 kills. And then we've got uh, yeah, Pole Arms, 408 kills. The Lake Town Guards and still very healthy. Uh, Yeoman, 281 kills. Uh, 227 kills. And then Northman Scouts, 277 kills with them. Then we have uh, 1, 2... Eight five uh, eight four Y and then a whole bunch more. Um, playing as the Iron Hills, 135 kills with day nine foot here. Uh, Iron Hill Warriors, 148 kills, 125, 150. Even though he's like AFK, I think I felt like for a bit of that he still did pretty well. Uh, Warriors of Ed, Mithrin getting 203 kills. Sons of the Hill, 150. Khan and River Guard, 168 kills. His Iron Guards, 250. Uh, 238 with the pikes here and the crossbows, yeah, just wasted. They really were. Then we have uh, Wala Axel playing as Orcs of the North. Uh, he was attacking Dale, I believe, to start with. 107 kills with the High Chieftain Scards here. Golder Blades, 154 uh, kills. And then he's got 150, uh, 183, uh, uh, 189 kills with the Glaives. Uh, get there eventually. 155 with another one there. His Goblin Bodyguards, 192 kills. And yeah, his Archers just got outgunned there. And his poor Trolls only got a few kills. Then we have TGPS playing as Dogledore. Uh, 146 kills with Kamul. Uh, 131 kills with the Goldor Glaives. 128 with another one there. 128 with the Champions of Dogledore. Uh, his Olokai getting 142 kills. Then we have Spartacus playing as the other Dogledor army. Um, 109 kills with his Guldor Glaives. Nazgul getting 131 kills. 196 kills, another blade there. Uh, 120 with another one. And his Guldor um, Glaives getting 124 kills. Uh, 145 with this one here. Champions getting 101 kills. Then we have Wushal playing as Gundabad. Uh, he got 100 and. Uh, 68 kills with his Blades of Gundabad here. Uh, 90 kills with the Tomb Raiders. 127 kills with the Mounted Orc Reavers. Uh, and then 112 kills with the Mountain Orc Traverses. But there you go, guys. That is a victory for the Defenders, uh, for the Forces of Good. They managed to hold on to Dale. And yeah, they are going to win the Battle of the Five Armies here today. If you did enjoy and want to see more, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that shenanigans. Do check out some of the videos appearing on your screen. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.